hello everybody in this video I will be showing you all how to make the inside of Walmart so um, for those that haven't seen it already obviously I've done the tutorial on the outside of Walmart um, so if you haven't seen that if you haven't made that go ahead and make that so obviously you're gonna need the Walmart itself to make the inside so I feel like I shouldn't have to tell you all that that should be really obvious so if you haven't made it go and make it um, but anyways um, yeah so the outside um, now of course I didn't have the sharpening now well I don't know what I'm saying of course but I haven't I actually haven't I actually didn't have the shopping cart returns uh, in the uh, outside tutorial but I will show you guys how to make those on the here in the inside tutorial I just forgot to make them so but yeah now I've made them I'll show you guys how to make those um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and show off, the, show off the interior just so you guys can see what you're making. Um, so you walk in, of course, if you've been to Walmart before, you'll know that they have these big airlocks. There's one on the other side as well. Usually this is obviously where you find the carts. Um, this is usually where there's also like a red box machine, like ATM, and like a coin star machine. It's like where you dump coins in it. Um, then you come in here. This is the market side, by the way. This is market. Um, we've got some pumpkins, melons, just like these big boxes of like fruits and then we just have some shelving all through here um, freezer section of course and these of course just tell you like what's in the aisles and stuff uh, here's the produce these are meant to be the bags that you put your produce in and whatever so and then yeah it's just a shelf another shelf and another shelf <laughs> um, and then we got some cash registers um, and then we of course have a subway in here because most um, yeah, most Walmarts either have a Subway or a McDonald's. Uh, most Subways I've been to have, a, or sorry, most Walmarts I've been to have a Subway. So, um, yeah, this has like a cookie jar, you know, a place to get all kinds of stuff. I could not fit the chip rack. I really wanted to put the chip rack, but there was just like no room for it. So I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, you can see there's all kinds of stuff in here. Um, even though it is pretty tight, it does work. <laughs> well, you know, it works for what it is, I guess. A little clothing section, um, and then back here is like storage. You know, this is where they keep all the stuff when it's like, when something's out of stock, they'll come here. This is also where, like, the trucks will come and, you know, drop off stuff. And then, just more shelving. These are, this is kind of like the toy section, so that's kind of, they're a little different from the other shelves. Uh, and then, of course, electronics, video games, you know, PlayStation, Xbox, uh, Wii and Switch. Uh, and then some TVs, as well as just some random equipment, like, um, electronics and whatever. So, yeah, um, overall, really nice interior, uh, and... Uh, pretty really nice looking so yeah uh, let's just let's get straight on into this tutorial so um so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna name all the materials I'm just gonna kind of go through them like this I would recommend you pause the video just to grab all of them but um, yeah just don't feel like naming all the materials I feel like it takes longer doing that so there's a lot of materials by the way there's way more materials than there are uh, in the outside tutorial, obviously, because, you know, there's all kinds of stuff on the inside. So, that's probably the one part I don't like about this, is just how, um, how many materials there is, so. Alright, here's those, and here yeah, we still have, oh my goodness, there's a lot, y'all. Seriously, you're gonna, you're gonna need two big chests for this one. Um, so I would go ahead and get those set out before you actually grab all your materials. Um, but yeah, so basically just grab all these materials. I'm probably going to do this from now on every time I do, um, like tutorials. I'm just going to scroll through the materials list like this, so. Yeah, so there's all your materials. Materials we're going to need right now are probably, uh, white concrete, um, definitely the cyan terracotta, um, oh yeah, we're also going to need the smooth quartz block, um, jungle wood planks. Oh geez, do we need? Probably not. Uh, gravel, definitely. We're gonna definitely need gravel. Brick, 100%. Um, oh gosh. Oh yeah, terracotta, blue concrete. Um, do we need birch wood for right now? Uh, I don't know about right now. I think we'll leave that. And then, yeah, we'll go ahead and grab black stained glass. And then we'll grab the iron door, pressure plate, um, just to grab a few things. Uh, I think we'll just stick with those. If we need something else, we'll go ahead and grab it. But um, anyways, uh, yeah, so why don't we head inside? Uh, you may actually want to go ahead and grab night vision as well, just because it's really dark in here, but we will add lanterns, at so or not lanterns, but like, uh, lights, uh, at some point in time, so. Alright, let's get this tutorial started. We have a lot to get through. <laughs> 
All right, so the first things first, we're gonna go ahead and dig out all the flooring, and don't worry about all this that I have going on right here, it's just marking out everything, so don't worry about all that, it's just, it makes it easier for me to mark everything out for the tutorial. And you may also notice that I have the doors knocked out, um, so, so yeah, that's just something. Um, oh yeah, and I forgot about the cart returns, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and just do the flooring first, just kinda get the inside set up, basically. We won't put all that, we won't, we won't put in all the shelves and stuff yet until, uh, the shopping cart returns are done. So, Alright, so what I recommend you guys do is first of all, like I just did right here, go ahead and dig out underneath the glass and where the doors are going to go and put um, your cyan terracotta. Alright, and then just like directly in front of the door here, so like, or right in front of this like glass block right here, you're just going to dig out all this until it reaches the end. Alright, and then you're just going to make it as long as this like little garage here, these little, uh, little courts right here. Just gonna make that as long as that, and then you're just gonna stretch it all the way until it is in line with the glass right here, and then you're just gonna dig everything out in between. So, and you're gonna do this for both sides. Um, so you're not only gonna do this for this side, um, but you're gonna do this to the other side. And obviously, the other side's altered, but it's the same exact thing. You just keep, you just do what I did. So, <sighs> yeah. So, yeah, and then and yeah, don't worry about the colors. Again, that's just for to mark out where everything's going. That's for all the like. Stuff. And yeah, so literally same exact thing on this side. You come to the, this glass right here, and then you dig out all the way until it reaches the very end here. And then you make this as long as the quartz here, and then you just extend it back until it's in line with the first place you uh, started. And then again, you just dig everything else in between. And yeah, so very very simple, um, really. So yeah, you just gotta yeah, it's really really simple. So. Yep, and then of course you fill it in, and by the way, it's cyan terracotta, I think I already told you guys that though, so that's that's good. Um, yeah, so then, yeah, so fill this up, alright, and then, oh, and then you would also, um, so as, so the door here, you kind of want to, yeah, you want to come to over here, you want to dig out two rows here, like starting from the first glass block to the last glass block, kind of in line with that, and you would dig two rows of that, alright, and you would do the same thing on the other side, so... Um, where you have the first glass, line it up until you're at the next, like, at the grass block here. And then just take out two rows, again, as long as the entrance, so from the that glass to that glass, that's how you live on it, and you want to do two rows of that. Alright, so that's pretty much the floor for both of the, um, airlocks, alright, you just want to take care of that. Okay, next, what you're going to want to do is, um, we're, yes, yeah, so we're pretty much just going to do all the flooring. So with your quartz block... Where you have this last row of cyan that you place, you want to come out, and then that's where you want to like make, uh, yeah. So for the quartz, um, you want it to be like one block away from the walls, uh, all the way around here. Um, and I guess since there's a gap here, just pretend there's a wall here. Um, so it literally is just you just keep on going. You don't make a difference here. So literally, it's still one block away from the wall all the way through here, but. Yeah, so don't worry about this big gap here. Uh, so yeah, you just keep going and all the way through here. And then, oh yeah, until once you get to the airlock, it's basically, uh, so where you have the floor here for the airlock, it'd be three blocks away. Or no, no, two blocks away, sorry. It'd be two blocks away from the airlock. And then you just continue all the way through until you reach the very end. So you'll reach the very end, the end eventually. So that's how you want to do it. So one block away from the wall all the way through here and then two blocks away um, from the two airlock floors, basically, um, or, wait, no, no, well, okay, this is confusing, yeah, so once, yeah, so once you get to, like, the airlocks, it's, like, two blocks away, and then, yeah, you continue, it's still, it's not two blocks away from here, like, where the entrance will be, but, like, from where the wall will be, that's where, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you guys understand that already, so, alrighty, and then, of course, you just want to dig it out and fill it up, um, with your quartz, and, yeah, I'll be back once I'm done. Okay, everyone, once you have uh, filled up your quartz flooring, obviously yours will be, you know, not all messy like this. Yours will just be smooth quartz. Um, where you have left, you know, a gap, uh, you basically just want to put blue concrete. Just all, you just want to put one row of blue concrete, basically just all around the entire flooring. So, yeah, it's just all around the entire flooring. Except for where you have the uh, the cyan terracotta, um, you want to go ahead and uh, you actually want to go ahead and leave that completely blank. Oh, and also, um, okay, this is going to be a little confusing. So, okay, so where you have the 
uh, the row cyan terracotta, all right? So we're gonna start, you know, with this middle section, right? Um, so you wanna like, so where you have this on the left side here, so let's say we're on the right side here, all right? So this row of uh, cyan, right? There's these two blocks, you wanna put two blue, and then you actually wanna put a brick there and then just leave a gap of, uh, or actually you don't have to leave a gap, well, you do, but you have to come over here to this side. So you wanna do the same thing on the other side, basically, so where you have this row of cyan, uh, you want to put two blue and then a uh, a brick, and then just in between here, you just want to leave a gap. Don't put any blue there. All right, and then you also actually don't want to put any blue. Um, so where we have this corner wall here, right? You want to put this so you have a corner. It's like corner. So basically where the terracotta ends here, right? You want to leave a gap of uh, five, and then you want to leave a gap of two, and then five, and then a gap of two. So you want to do that. All right. All right, and then actually, what you also want to do is you can see we have the clothing section here. So with your jungle wood planks, you want to come to each end here of where like the terracotta ends. It makes sense. All right, you want to from where you placed your blue concrete. All right, you just want to put a, you dig out a row of jungle or dig out a row um, out the ground and put jungle wood uh, from this end all the way to this end and make sure it's uh, right where the right at the blue here. Then you want to come down towards the front of the store by one, two, three, four, five, six on both sides and then just connect together. And then of course, you know, dig in the middle here and um, place your jungle wood. Okay, everyone, once you have filled up your jungle wood area here, you want to come into where the stock room is going to be here. You want to come to the corner here and then just want to dig out a row of grass here and then fill it up with gravel and then you just want to extend it all the way until it comes to this end right here on both sides and then you just want to connect them together of course um, and then you want to make them come out to through the gap here like this so this is obviously where the entrance to the storeroom will be so so dig out the gaps that you left when you were making the uh, the blue con when you were doing the blue concrete here you want to leave the where you, where you have these gaps you want to dig out and put the gravel and then of course you just want to dig out everything else in here between the gravel and uh, also I'd recommend doing it under here as well so under the doors you don't have to put them under these doors obviously because they don't open so you won't be able to see the gravel through them so but yeah you want to put them at least under these doors here and then of course like I said dig out everything and fill up with gravel alright y'all you know, once you have filled up your floor here with the gravel um, the last bit of flooring that you have to do is for subway and to do that um, where you've placed the bricks on both sides here uh, you want to dig out and place uh, what did I have here I think it was oh right it was the birch all right so yeah you want to put birch planks here so I don't think yeah you didn't grab birch planks for right now so yeah you go ahead and grab birch planks because I didn't tell you guys to grab the birch planks but now you guys can go ahead and grab that um, and even in the kitchen, you can go ahead and do that as well. If you want, you can even put like iron for the kitchen, just kind of have it separated, but I'm not going to do that. I just don't really see a point in doing that. But if you guys, um, you know, want to do that, you guys can do that just to kind of have it kind of separated if you want. So, so yeah, um, yeah, so once you've uh, done that, I should probably mark where the tables are going to go just to make things easier. There we go. I don't know. Just it'll make it easier but if I do that. Oh. Oh, oh, this is its own. Oh, wait, what? Hold on, sorry, I'm like really confused right now. Oh, oh, okay, wait, I did this completely wrong, okay. All right, yeah, nothing, yeah, obviously, you know, um, yeah, obviously you guys didn't do anything wrong, I did, so. There we go, sorry, I was getting confused with those tables. All right. Yeah, that's why I'm marking them, just so I don't get confused on where is where. Um, but yeah, that's, that obviously won't take too long. As you can see, I did that on recording, but once you've, um, well, that's mainly because most of it's already filled in, but once you've done that, that is, uh, oh, and by the way, I should probably mention where the, uh, subway flooring is going to go. It's basically one block away from everything that's like surrounding it. So everything, or, oh, wait, I just realized you guys don't have all this. Okay. So basically it's two blocks away from each of the, uh, airlocks and one block away from this wall. So or no, three blocks away. Yeah, it's three blocks away from each of the airlock and then one away from the back wall. All right, I think we should start doing the walls now just so everything isn't so confusing. All right, so for, we're gonna start with subway just to get it over with. Um, so where you have, so basically you're just gonna surround the entire like birch area here like this. All right, and then you're just gonna extend it all the way up here. I would actually, I would go ahead and, yeah, I would go ahead and extend the walls all the way up to the ceiling just to make things easier 
for everything. Just to, yeah, just to go ahead and do this, just make things easier. We will uh, obviously section off where like the top of the entrance is and like where the sign will go. And of course my camera is completely out of frame. So sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so literally, I mean, you could pretty much already saw what everything, what we needed to do. I know it was pretty annoying. I apologize about that. So, um, but oh my gosh, stupid thing. All right. Yeah. So literally, yeah, just extend that all the way up to the top. Alrighty. And then you're going to do the same exact thing with your, uh, terracotta. So with the terracotta, uh, you're going to come to where this end here is like, so where the subway wall is and then where this, um, white con or white terracotta is, you're just going to come out by one, two, three, four. Uh, five six and then you're just gonna come out by one at the six block and then of course extend all the way to the top as we've already done um, and of course we will add ceilings and stuff too but that'll be um, that'll be some point in time uh, alright and then you just want to uh, come to where you have this uh, gray concrete here like gray concrete and you just want to uh, come out by one two three four five so you leave a gap of five and then just ex and put in terracotta and extend all the way to the end and then you and then you just do the same thing on this end obviously it's just altered so but it's still the same exact um, directions so um, I would just um, rewind the video just to, if you guys kind of lost like which direction like or not which direction but if you kind of miss some of the instructions I would rewind the video but because I'm not going to do this all in recording but yeah literally just do the same exact thing on that side. All right everyone once you have filled these walls all the way up it's now time to separate the storeroom from the rest of the store so this one's pretty self-explanatory just right where this wall is here you're just gonna uh, fill the wall up here oh, obviously where the gap is you don't want to do that where the gravel is here for the gap you don't want to put it there and also this is obviously the entrance oops for the uh for the storeroom yes yeah, so you just want to make um the gaps here two blocks tall on both sides and then just go ahead and fill this up and once we've done this we'll actually go ahead and start the parking lot the or well the shopping cart returns we should have already done that in the beginning um but i kind of just wanted to get everything kind of set up here so we got the walls done here uh we'll worry about the rest of the walls later there's still some interior kind of walls to do um still so but we'll worry about all that later um for right now put away your materials uh except for your blue uh concrete go ahead and keep that out um and then we'll grab the birch fence gate the cauldron um item frame and then white glass pane wherever that's at uh there it is yeah so grab your white white glass pane all right so you're gonna come to the parking lot uh we should have already done this in the exterior video but whatever um come to any space you want and then where the white concrete is, you're just going to put all uh, the blue concrete and then just connect at the back. So on two. So yeah, you're basically just going to take up an entire space with this. And then on each side, you're going to go up by two. Uh, and then in by one. Up by one. And then connect at the top. And then item frame cauldron in the middle. Um, white stained glass pane on either side, like so. And then, of course, cauldrons are the shopping cart. So you would just put a bunch of these in here. Um, and then whichever, like, if it's disconnected here, the ends of the uh, cauldrons need to be open fence gate for, door, for the handles. And, yeah, so that's pretty much one shopping cart return. And then you would, of course, do this for um, any other ones. So I would make multiple of these, especially because this is, like, a fairly big parking lot. So um, I would definitely consider doing, um, yeah, multiple of these. Um, so, yeah, just... Yeah, just keep uh keep making these. Uh, they're really really easy to make, really repeatable. So, um, and then you can put as many carts in here as you want. It really doesn't matter. It's just it's a cart return. It's kind of a miscellaneous amount of carts. So, so yeah, uh, and yeah, it also doesn't matter which space you put them in either. So, that's good, at least. So yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and make one more right here. This one I'm not gonna put any carts in because you know you guys already get the you get it's a you know you guys already get what's happening here so yeah so yeah just yeah just make multiple of these i would make up to like three like i'm doing because i feel like you don't definitely don't want to put too much because obviously you want uh you know some room for cars to park but yeah so that's uh there's that so that's actually the entire outside of walmart completed there you go um okay so now that we've done that um we're gonna go ahead and do the interior walls so go ahead and put these materials away grab out your blue concrete and your white concrete all right so next uh where you've put the blue concrete around your quartz earlier 
um, that's where you actually want to extend it up by one with your blue concrete. So you just want to place, well not extend it up, but basically just place blue concrete on the blue concrete that you placed. And again, we placed blue, blue concrete on the floor, like in the floor, um, to make it easier uh, to mark out like where the inside walls are going. So this is obviously the interior walls for the store, um, just so, you know, because it, um, we don't want everything to be terracotta because that's boring. So that's why we have interior walls, all right? And then you're just simply going to place everything else, white concrete, all the way up to the very tippity top of the inside here. So anytime, so anywhere where you've had, where you've just raised the blue concrete, you want to just um, fill, put uh, rows and rows and rows of white concrete. And you want to do this all the way around here once you've, uh, on top of all the blue concrete that you've just placed. Okay, everybody, once you have done your inside walls, uh, you want to basically, throw, so for the entrances here, so you can see where we have the airlocks and then, of course, the subway, uh, it wants to be three blocks from the ground to where you want to start filling it up like this. So basically, the entrance is three blocks high for these, and then the rest of it's just walls. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, so we pretty much did every wall. Uh, so we did all the walls. Uh, let me just double check. I think, yeah, we pretty much did all the walls. We did all of the flooring, I know for sure. Uh, yeah, so all the walls are, are done. So now we need to do the ceilings. So, and this um, applies to all the ceilings in the store. Uh, it wants to be two blocks above, like, the subway entrance and also the airlock entrance. So, um, and then, of course, you just want to put chiseled quartz all the way around here. Um, yeah, so, or I guess, in other words, wants to be one block from the roof. So... Which is good, because if you want to do, like, redstone lights so that they can turn on and off, uh, which I'm not going to do, but you can feel free to do that, then, you know, that's definitely an option. Uh, yeah, yeah, and like I said, it applies to the airlocks and also the, um, <clears throat> the, um, or does it? Hang on, I think the airlocks are actually different, because, no, they're not, I don't think, no, they're not, they, they can't be, no, okay, or... No, actually, I think they, no, they are, actually, okay, never mind, sorry, okay, so the airlocks, actually, uh, because you can still see the uh, uh, pillar quartz, and that doesn't look very good, so we want to hide that, so this actually wants to be two blocks from the roof, okay, so this one's actually lower than the other ceiling, so the airlock ceilings, and I think the subway ceiling as well will probably be shorter, but don't, don't do the subway ceiling yet, because I'm still not sure, uh, but for right now, just kind of, like, do this box that I'm doing right here, yeah, that, that looks a lot better, okay, yeah, so I think, yeah, this one, yeah, definitely doesn't need a high ceiling. So I do, like, one block up from this, uh, so basically, yeah, same with the air. So the airlocks and the subway ceiling are both two blocks from the ceiling, while the main, like, store ceiling, this one right here, this big one's just one block. And then I think for the uh, storeroom is also two blocks from the, yeah, so the ceiling is, yeah, so for, actually, I think the storeroom should have a higher ceiling. Yeah, so for the storeroom... You want to do one block from the ceiling. Yeah, I think that honestly makes sense because I feel like the storerooms would also have a high ceiling. So, yeah, so for the storeroom and the actual like big store shopping area here, um, uh, you want to do one block from the ceiling or, yeah, one block from the roof for the ceiling. And then for subway and the airlocks, they want to be two blocks. Yep. And then uh, once you've done that, you basically, I'm not sure if it's by two or by, oh, it's by two. Okay. So this main ceiling, you want to leave a gap of two and put chiseled all the way to the end. Then you of course just want to extend the chiseled, all the chiseled blocks all the way. And then of course the gaps want to have the sea lanterns in them. Or if you're doing a redstone ceilings, you want to obviously do redstone lamps, but I wouldn't recommend doing redstone ceilings just because it takes forever. Um, as for the, well, I haven't done that airlock ceiling, let's do the subway, and then as for the subway ceiling, uh, this middle block just wants to be a row of chiseled, and then, of course, you know, rows of the, the gaps want to be rows of sea lantern, I don't know what's going on out there, same for the airlocks, so for both airlocks, you want to do the same thing here, just a row in the very middle, and then sea lanterns in the gaps, and then for the storeroom, again, I'm not sure if it's by two or by one, I have a feeling, yeah, it's by one, okay, so, so you want to leave a gap of, oh, Oh, never mind. Wait, it wants to be in this direction. Okay, so it wants to be going towards the entrances. And it's by one again. Okay, here we go. Unless this one's also uneven. This okay, so okay, so this one's uneven. So this is really this is really weird. Okay, so we're gonna leave a gap of two from the ends and okay, no, that still looks bad. Okay, so 
<sighs> okay, I apologize guys. I don't know how I laid out the ceiling. Okay, so I would leave a gap of two from these sides here. And then as you get to the... Okay, this has to be a joke. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what, guys? We're just gonna deal with it. Okay, so we're actually gonna leave a gap of one from each end and then leave a gap of... Oh, no, that's not right. You know what? We're just gonna do it this way. Okay, so you guys can see how we're doing it, right? Okay, so you're so going vertical, so going horizontal, basically, you're gonna leave a gap of one from each end and then leave a gap of two. So there should be two blocks in the middle like this. Yeah, sorry, that was a little confusing. Um, I apologize. I have no idea how I laid out this ceiling. So, yeah, so... That's how you do the ceilings. Obviously, the gaps, again, want to be sea lanterns. And, yeah, do that for all the ceilings, and I'll be back once I'm done myself. Okay, y'all, once you have done all of your ceilings, I mean, that's pretty much a majority of Walmart done already. So, uh, so we can actually go ahead and put most of these materials away. Go ahead and keep the... Actually, yeah, we'll go ahead and grab the brick and brick slab. Or the brick stairs and brick slab. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> like that. So, yeah, actually, yeah, go ahead and put away everything. Especially your night vision. Well, actually, don't put your night vision in the chest because you're not going to have enough room. Um, but yeah, go ahead and put everything in the chest. I'll just, just, it'll make it easier. So just do that. Um, oh, you're probably going to need to put everything in this chest too, I suppose, right? All right. So, so yeah, just uh, put those away. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and clear these out because we don't need them anymore. All right. So go ahead and grab your brick stairs, your brick slab, and then grab your black stained glass, your. Um, uh, light gray concrete, and then you can also grab your, <sighs> where did I put it, um, oh yeah, the door, iron doors, and then weighted pressure plate, and then you can actually now go ahead and grab your cauldron, your, um, wherever the birch, uh, fence gate is, there we go, found it, there we go, for it, birch, fence gate, and you know what, we'll just stick with those things, alright, so if you haven't already put your doors in, you should probably do that. That should already be like step one. Um, obviously, I recommend. You know, obviously, you know you should have already done that after you did the flooring, but really doesn't matter. And then of course, put your pressure plates behind that. So now for, um, hang on, let me do the other side. Um, oh, whoops, that's too far. And there we go. All right. So once you've done that, uh, you're basically going to copy what you have here over here. So um, it's going to be right where the uh, terracotta is, not where the concrete is, but where the terracotta is. So you're just literally, um, again, you're just like copying what you have on this side. So you don't have to do the gray concrete. I don't know why I told you guys to grab the, well, light gray concrete, but still, I mean, I, you don't have to do that one. So, or that part. So, you know, that's good and everything. So literally, so besides the gray concrete, everything else, uh, obviously, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just put the doors in like so. Oh, and I suppose, uh, oh, wait, that's weird. Okay, so I guess, um, yeah, so I guess you actually don't want the cyan uh, terracotta there. So just grab your smooth quartz block and fix that. All right, and then, yeah, just do the same thing over here. Again, make sure you... Go ahead and remove this right here. Alrighty, and then, um, yeah, so then you would just put this in here. I know it's a little, uh, I mean, it's a little uh, weird, but that's just kind of how it goes. Alright, oops, and uh, yeah, and then you would just put this on the other side. And there you go, so that's how you make the, the uh, entrances for that. Alrighty. Um, Alright, so now once you've done that, you're going to take your brick stairs and brick slab, you're going to come to the corners of the entrance of Subway, uh, and then you're just going to put your brick slab in between. So put the upside down stairs on the corners and slab in between. Uh, and then you're going to want to go ahead and put like upside down bricks, because we're going to be putting the, the sign in here, and obviously it's going to have the green background and then the, with the green concrete. So the green concrete is going to peek into the inside, so the stairs are just going to be covering that. Uh, and then you also just want to go ahead, just so the ceiling's not uneven, you want to do the same thing on this side. Because um, obviously without this, it's going to make the ceiling uneven. So, so yeah, that's what you want to do for inside subway. And then, uh, yeah, now we'll just go ahead and start doing the airlock rooms, since those are probably the easiest things to do. Well, there are a few, there are actually, there's actually a few pretty easy steps. So, Alright, so step one in here with the cauldrons. Um, you just want to scatter a bunch of cauldrons everywhere. It really does not matter how you place them. If you want them to all be neat, go ahead and be my guest. But I don't really care. So really just in this general area, uh, really I wouldn't put them past like where the gray concrete is. Um, so anywhere past the gray concrete towards that way, I would put the carts. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So yeah, this is obviously where you grab your shopping carts. Uh, those really loud, wobbly, rusty 
crusty shopping carts usually have trash in them if you you know have a trashy walmart you know i have one in my town so there's always trash in the shopping carts because you know no one bothers to keep the place clean so but yeah so that's that side and then of course you would do it to the other airlock as well so come all the way over here and then just come in here if i can get in here that is there we go and yeah literally pretty self-explanatory you just throw a bunch of cauldrons in here i'm probably just gonna there we go. I'm probably just going to put, like, well, actually, I can put a little more than that. I don't know why the cauldrons aren't, like, placing when, when I want them to. It's kind of annoying. All right, I think that's good. I don't want to put too many. There we go. Just because. And then, of course, like I said, where the carts are not connected, you want to just put um, these fence gates at the end, like this. And there you go. All right, so there's the shopping carts uh, on both in both the airlock rooms. So now we can come back to our materials. Uh, here and we can just put a bunch of this stuff away for now um, All right, so now what we're gonna need is we're gonna need to grab it's probably gonna be in this chest Yeah, so we're gonna need the light gray concrete. We're gonna need the uh, Great concrete the red concrete the lime concrete. Oh, we actually need cauldron still. Okay. That's annoying Yeah, so cauldron go ahead and grab that again um, Go ahead and grab um Painting, I know for sure we'll need that. Um, I think, yeah, go ahead and grab birch sign and then a stone button, and then I think, I'm not sure after that. I think, uh, oh, right, we're gonna need item frame. Right, item frame, wherever that's at. I don't know where it's at for some reason. I don't know if I even have it. Um, oh, it's right here. Okay, I don't know why it's doing there, what it's doing there. All right, so item frame, and then mangrove sign, gold ingot, and then. I would just stick with those. We'll, we'll wait for the other ones. Alrighty, so come into your airlock, right? And so come into this, so with this wall right here, and this or this is for the other airlock, so right over here on this wall, you can see where I've marked out some stuff. So uh, towards the, um, so towards the, I'm gonna call this the outside entrance, and then this the inside entrance, because obviously this is the entrance to go inside, this is the one to go outside. So outside entrance, so just to guys give you guys a clue, I mean, you guys can already see what I'm doing, but so towards the outside entrance here where we have the gray concrete, you're just gonna do two um, of these red concretes, there we go. And then beside that, a gray concrete, and then you wanna do a cauldron, and then a lime concrete after that, all right? Top of the red, you wanna do three more red <laughs> basically all right and then in the middle here you want to make sure it's not a four by four or a two by two uh one by two painting like that all right and then um here you want to just do gray concrete and then another or no sorry light gray concrete and then a gray concrete on top of that all right and then here don't put anything on top of the cauldron but on top of the green put two green and then extend to the right like so and um yeah, I think that's how you do it. I'm not sure. Okay. All right. And then go ahead and put birch sign on the tops here like so. And then you also want to put a painting here. That's basically, so this is like a, um, oh geez, a coin star. I'm sure a lot, I know a lot of Walmarts have this. Uh, you like dump a big bucket of coins into like this big bucket <laughs> and I don't know what it does. It does something with it. Um, yeah. So then in the middle here, you put an item frame. Okay. I don't think the, yeah, I don't think the ATM is actually supposed to be that tall. So yeah, go ahead and chop that down. All right, and then you would put a button at the bottom here. Oh yeah, there's actually supposed to be a slab on top of this. Okay, that's what I was confused about. All right, you can go ahead and replace your cauldron with your mangrove sign, replace your birch sign with your gold ingot, put the gold ingot in the item frame, and then up above here, you just wanna put mangrove signs. This is just for the red box. Um, And then I believe that's pretty much it. So now, oh, we actually, we might as well grab the slab, right? The uh, the, oh gosh, where is it? There it is, the quartz slab. Alrighty, so then you would come into here and you would put the quartz slab on top of the ATM, which is what this middle thing is here with the money. And there you go, so there's a, that's pretty much how you make those things there. You, a lot of Walmarts have that kind of stuff. And you'd literally just do the same thing on this side. So literally, again, so from the gray concrete here, you wanna do red and then gray concrete and then lime concrete and then a uh, cauldron just like so all right on top of the red two reds uh, and then mangrove sign on the top like that and then oops I uh, want to go ahead and just do that oh that's not right hang on I'm not doing this right there we go painting all right and then on top of the, well we'll wait for the ATMs who want the materials but uh, on top of the lime two lime extend to the right 
All right, and then um, <laughs> that kind of that rhymed. I don't know why. Uh, and then replace the gray with light gray, and then you, you can replace the mangrove with that. All right. Top of the dark gray, you want to put light gray, and then in front of it, you want to put item frame, so gold ingot, bottom with a stone button, and then slab on top. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory at this point. I mean, should be pretty easy to make. There we go. So that's how you make all that, and that's pretty much both airlocks. Yeah, that's both airlocks complete. So good job if you've made it this far. Alrighty, we are making a ton of progress with Walmart, so congratulations uh, for making it this far. It's looking really good, so yeah, be proud, be happy. All right, so now we're actually gonna go ahead. Uh, I don't know where my green concrete is. I don't think I even grabbed it. I didn't grab it, did I? No, okay, of course not. <laughs> so grab green concrete. I would also go ahead and grab the subway signs. If you have um, pick block, obviously just go ahead and pick block the signs. Um, but if you don't, uh, grab uh, yellow or, or sorry, yellow, white, and green uh, dye, and then six green banners, and then a loom, and then I'll have a Banner loader tutorial link to the description if you haven't made the banner loaders already. But if you have pick block, just go ahead and do that. Or just go ahead and pick block the, yeah, just the sign. All right, so you want to find the very middle here. So I'm pretty sure, well, you want to find the very middle two blocks. That's what you want. So it should be pretty easy. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There should be eight blocks on the other side. E, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, so once you found the two middle blocks, you want to dig that into the, the wall here like this and then you just want to dig up so you want to make it two blocks like that all right and then you just want to do uh two blocks out the sides like that so s-u-b-w-a-y there you go so that's how you would do that and then of course just place your banners pretty simple all right so once you've done that that is the sign for subway so yeah that's how you know so yeah this is what i was talking about so like look i'll remove the yeah you can see the green is peeking through so that's why we have the upside down stairs and of course if we don't have stairs on this side then the ceiling is uneven so or it looks uneven so that's why you put stairs on the other side so yeah that's that's why the stairs are there uh, in case anyone was confused so um now i guess we'll go ahead and just get subway done so we can have this whole side of the store done that just makes sense to me all right i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of the signs because i don't need them anymore so Alrighty, so what we're gonna need now, um, we're gonna go ahead and grab, um, all right, we'll grab court stairs, scaffolding, brick block. <sighs> okay, and then we also need um, white stained glass paint, cauldron, of course. Um, do I have, no, I don't have um, the oak trap door. Uh, here, oh, there it is. Oak trap door, flower pot, brewing stand, furnace, cobblestone wall, Mm, excuse me um excuse me again uh sea pickle cookie um i think black carpet right i don't know grab four just random carpet it really doesn't matter just whatever just any color carpet oh that's weighted pressure plate we don't want that um there we go just four random carpets really doesn't matter uh polish and site stairs i don't know if we need daylight sensor probably not no we don't need that okay and then, uh, what else do we need? Um, we need black concrete. Uh, we're gonna need red concrete, uh, light gray concrete. Um, we're gonna need the trap wire hook. Uh, oh, and we're also gonna need the white glass block as well as the um, oh the composter definitely. And um, oh yeah, birch sign we'll need, and then yeah, so a lot of stuff we're gonna need. Where's the white stained glass block? I, oh, I already grabbed that. Okay, no, we need right. Okay, we need spruce tra tra trap door, and we'll just stick with that. I don't want to take too long with that, I'm <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure I already got everything. So, all right, so now come inside the. Um, oh, actually, I just remembered materials we already need. Uh, two more materials we need so we need um if you haven't already got it go ahead and grab the um uh dark green and yellow carpet but i already grabbed dark green so i'll just grab yellow yeah so anyways come inside here all right come inside the subway you want to take your brick block so from the left side of the entrance on this wall you want to leave a gap of two and then put a brick and then extend to the towards the other side of the store by one two three four or five Extend back a gap of one and then to put a brick and then in that gap you want to put an oak trap door Next at the back here. You just uh, want to wait because I don't know what I'm doing All right, so in the front here these uh, so from the right side So if you're inside the behind the counter here, you want to come to the right side You want to put four cauldrons All right, and then in front of those cauldrons you want to put white stained glass pane right there 
All right, and then um, you can go ahead and we'll go ahead and put the tables now. So the smooth court stairs, uh, you wanna come to this very block right here. So right where the trap door is, you wanna put this block, leave a gap of one, a stair, a scaffolding, and then a stair inward like that. Leave a gap of one going towards the front of subway and do the same thing. All right, and then you just wanna leave a gap of one from both those tables and make two more the exact same way as we did before. Okay, and then um, right against this corner here, you wanna do that. Um, and then right on this wall here, so one block away from the stair and one block away from the uh, entrance is where you want to put the last table. So it, yeah, so literally it fits a pretty good amount of tables in here. It's actually quite surprising. So yeah, you can fit a total of two for yeah six tables. So that's pretty good for the size um, of this place. So all right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, put these materials away for now. We still need them, but we're gonna put them away. We're gonna need the composter. We can actually put these away too. Go ahead and grab composter, grab your light gray, so grab all, like, anything that's concrete. All right, grab your polished andesite stairs, grab your uh, birch sign, your white stained glass, um, and your spruce, um, what is that, spruce trap door, and of course I forgot item frame. I'm just going to grab it out of the, out of the, uh, out of this. All right, so you're going to need that as well. All right, so at the back here you want to put um, your, um, y'all know what this is, light gray concrete. Alrighty, and then um, then what you want to do is uh, right on the corner here you want to put a glass block item frame and then a spruce trap door up top. That's going to be a cookie jar. We'll put a cookie in the item frame. Alright, and then right beside it you want to put a stair, polished stair, um, polished inside stair, and then you just want to put a sign in front of it. That's so you can see like the total price that gets typed into it. Alright, and then as for everything else, the composter is just right behind this chair. It's basically a trash can. All right, and then three light gray behind that, and then black concrete, and then just above the black concrete, you wanna put red concrete, and then we'll put a white concrete there, which of course I don't have that either. Wow, see, I literally forgot so many materials. So go ahead and grab white concrete and put that beside there, like so. Um, all right, next, um, I think that's everything that we can do with these materials. So we'll put these away now, again. Of course you can't put everything away. Um, we're gonna go ahead and grab the furnace, uh, the cookie, we'll go ahead and grab that. The four carpets, um, and then we'll grab the um, cobblestone wall, we'll grab the sea pickle, and then we'll grab the brewing stand. All right, so with the furnace, you wanna come to the very left side here, put the furnace, and then just a cobblestone wall up there. We can actually just go ahead and put it up to the top like that, make it, be make it look better. All right, we're gonna put a brewing stand, and then a sea pickle right there. All right, and then, um, oh, and then you also want to go ahead and put a sea pickles right there as well. All righty, and then, uh, oh, and actually, what you also want to do is, oh, actually, we'll wait, we'll wait. Put the cookie on the uh, item frame here. Again, that's a cookie jar. All right. Um, just, all right, and then you want to put just your four random carpets on top of the cauldrons. That's obviously all, of, like, the toppings for your sandwiches. All right. And then um, what you're going to want to do next is put, all, put everything away again. All right, grab a flower pot, um, item frame again. We're actually going to need that again. Um, truck wire hook, all right. And then, oh gosh, I don't know why it takes me forever to figure out materials. And then oh, we were also going to need paper, which we did not grab that. And then we're also going to need a hopper, which I also didn't grab that. See, there's so many materials I still didn't grab. All right, so right in between the, these concretes here, you just want to put truck by hook. Oh, and also grab your birch sign because we forgot something. We got to put birch sign on the front here for the soda machine. That's what this is, by the way. Item frame here with a paper. That's like napkins, basically, and then flower pot. This, these are just like so you can grab silverware and whatever, and that's a trash can. Throw away like your... So this is like where you can grab straws and silverware. Uh, and then here is where... Uh, well, actually, right here, you want to put a hopper with a truck wire hook. That's a sink. Then here's where you just want to put a flower pot, really simple. And uh, yeah, oh, and also uh, with your uh, green and yellow carpet, if you haven't already grabbed that, um, you just want to put like a, a checkerboard pattern of green and yellow in front of the cash register. And uh, yeah, and then also uh, you want to grab painting. Um, now this is actually an option. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I would recommend it because it definitely adds to the store here. You just kind of put some paintings around the place. These could be advertisements for like future menu items or something. I don't know. Just uh, um, 
we're just gonna we're gonna have to put one by one paintings here not that i want to but <laughs> i don't know just you know there's definitely this you know you can put a f paintings here in a few places so just to make the store look a little better um but yeah overall that's subway i think it turned out really well and also you can even put uh green and yellow carpets on top of the tables here which i would definitely recommend oops there we go um there you go all right so there's that and yeah that's pretty much subway 100 percent completed so good job and that's that and whole entire side of the store done so yeah i know pretty pretty surprising i know we're already like i mean like i said we're making a ton of progress with this walmart so you know good job so now we can put everything away um that we have like completely everything away we're just gonna start out fresh again so um yeah so once you've grabbed all of that or once you've put all that away all right so excuse me i need to adjust here sorry guys um all right so now we're gonna go ahead and do the storeroom so now grab your blue brown shulker box your beehive your barrel Grab your sca grab your scaffolding, can't talk, and then chest. And then I think Yeah, that's pretty yeah, that's everything. Alright. Yeah, that's literally everything. So now you're gonna come back here. Oh, and actually, we're we need one more thing. We need one more thing, I promise. Where oh my gosh, where is where is it? There it is. There we go. Oh, God. Black banner. We're gonna need that as well. Alright, so with your black banners, let me get in here. Uh, you're just gonna put that here in the front, like so. Oh, and no so oh, ugh, I cannot talk, guys. I am seriously the worst at talking. Uh, what was that noise? I have no idea. All right. So with your uh, doors here, you just want to put that there and there if you haven't already put the doors back. Um, of course, if you have, don't worry about that. But <sighs> anyways, so now what you're going to want to do is um, so where you have the entrances, right? So on each like side of the entrance here, you want to leave a gap of one and put one, two, three, four scaffolding going towards the other side. And you want to and you want to put uh, two more rows up top like that. All right, or you can actually even actually no, I'd just leave it like this. All right, you're gonna leave a gap of two from each shelf, and um, again, just make these three blocks tall. You know, just makes a good height. And these are of course the shelves where they would have all of, like the extra stuff if it's not already like in stock. So I don't know how that hasn't fallen, but there we go. So yeah, that's what you want to have for those. And then for here literally just stack a bunch of random like stuff here this is literally just a bunch of random like stuff stacked everywhere so just start like stacking stuff of course you're probably gonna have to crouch for most of this because it's really annoying but oh my goodness yeah so just literally just stack again just stack a bunch of random oh my gosh i hate when it does this it's so annoying all right all right yeah so there you go that's what you want to have and then yeah again just do the same exact thing for this um Oh my gosh, what is that whistling noise? I swear, I don't know if you guys hear that. You probably don't, but um, there's some whistling noise going on outside. I don't know what that is. Um, there we go. All right, and then, yeah, and then you could just stack a bunch of chests. Uh, feel free to use some other stuff if you want, maybe if you want to make it a little more detailed. Um, but literally, like, I would just, I'd just stick with this. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so again, just stack a bunch of random stuff up there. It really doesn't matter how it looks. It's not supposed to look neat, in case you guys are wondering. But yeah, so that's what you want to have for that, and that's literally the storeroom. Like that's that's how easy it is. It's really easy. So um, I just yeah, really really easy. So there's that part done. So that's pretty much the entire back and the entire front of the store done. Oh boy! So now we have to do everything in between. So yeah, there you go. All right. So let's uh, let's go ahead and put these. Oh wow, there's like no room in there. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and put this stuff away then. All right. So I would go ahead. Let's go ahead and do the clothing section next. Okay. So grab all your banners. Uh, just a bunch of random banners. Grab all of your random carpets and stuff. Um, really doesn't matter. All your random carpet and whatever. Grab your iron bars. Grab your iron trap doors. And then grab your birch planks. And that's pretty much it. All right. So this is now we're now doing the clothing section. All right. So here's the clothing section, obviously with the jungle wood floor, you guys can tell where it is. Um, I would go ahead and make sure you have your, um, the three, these three materials in your hot bar right now. All right, so with your iron bars, you're just gonna make a diagonal from each corner and put two blocks. So from each corner, you can see here, you wanna just do a diagonal and put two blocks going up, or not two blocks, sorry, two iron bars. You guys pretty much, but you guys can see what I'm talking about. So 
or see what I mean, whatever, whatever. So again, diagonal from each ver each like corner here, like so, and then you just yeah, do a diagonal inwards, all right? Gap of two going towards the middle. Uh, you wanna do the same exact thing. Um, oh my gosh, see, iron bars are really, really tricky, so just keep that in mind. Again, and same on the other side, two blocks, away, or two blocks from the previous. Um, you just wanna, yeah, again, towards the middle, you wanna do the same thing. And then on top, you just wanna put iron trap doors like so these are just you know meant to be like what the clothes hang off of so these are all hanging like clothes uh and i didn't have enough room to put changing rooms i did want to do that but this walmart's like really small so you really couldn't do much really can't do much all right and then three blocks from each of these hangers here you want to just put four um or you could line it up with like the middle four blocks between the two entrances into the storeroom uh which by the way you want to leave a gap of one from that and do this so two rows of birch leave a gap one then two rows of birch again so there you go and that's like the table with the folded clothes so so yeah you can put those materials away grab your banners um and then we just literally just put a bunch of uh random colors i would put a more of a variety of colors than what i have because you know i'm just i'm lazy i'm not gonna just sit here and uh, worry about if uh you know the colors are you know you know whatever but you know so that's um yeah that's just something I don't really care to worry about but yeah so literally again you just um, put um, banners all around here these are again just meant to be folded or no not folded but hanging clothes oops don't do that <laughs> there we go all right yeah so just make this look uh, you know nice and good and whatever all right yeah you do this for all these these is a uh, oh my gosh I hate banners guys this sucks Ugh, gosh these are the worst materials ever Ugh, I, how did I place two that that's a, that's a shocker okay yeah, I mean, you guys get the idea, so I don't really, but I do need to, I want to make this look complete, so that's why I'm doing all of them, so, um, just to get it over with, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh, why can't it just place on the dang bar when I want it to? There we go, alright, so once you finally get that done, that's going to take you a little bit because they're tricky, but once you eventually get all that taken care of, uh, you can get rid of the banners, you don't need them anymore. Alright, you can grab your carpet, oh, forgot one, there we go. And literally just um, a lot of just uh, carpet on here, you know, so there you go. And yeah, there you go. So there's your, that's your, I would obviously, again, again, use a lot more colors than what I have. I'd put a way better variety. But yeah, once you've done that, that's the entire clothing section. That's how easy it is. Now you can put away your carpet. Um, yeah, there you go. So now... Now I think we should go ahead and do the cash registers just to get that also out of the way. We're, we're getting everything out of the way. I don't know why I keep saying that. Um, of course, that's full. Okay, so I'm going to put these in here. Okay, so now, um, right, cash registers. We need blue concrete. We need um, iron bars for sure. We also need the bookshelves. Um, oof, my neck hurts. Um... Oh my gosh, how did I forget? Oh yeah, beacon, warped plate or warped pressure plate, warp stairs. Um gosh, what else do we need? I think it's in I think it's all in here. Here we go. Yeah, so and then birch sign. Um wait, we also need black carpet. I don't know. Oh, I got rid of it probably. Yeah. Okay, if you if you got rid of it, I apologize. We're gonna need that again. Um, so yeah, black carpet, I'd grab that, um, and then, uh, let's see, what else do we need, I don't know why I'm, like, my brain's, like, not functioning right now, daylight sensor, white shulker box, and, uh, I'm sure, oh yeah, we're also gonna need the, where are the stairs, where are the, there we go, the polishing inside stairs, and there we go, that's pretty much it, I think there may be something else, I'm sure I'm missing something, but we'll worry about that later, all right, so where the subway is, right, you see where we have, like, the first birch plank that starts here. You want to leave a gap of three going towards the back of the store, and then you just want to put a blue concrete right down left, like that. And then here where you did, where you went down here, uh, you want to extend towards the back by four, and then come out by one. And then just behind that, you want to put bookshelf, just like that. And then leave a gap of two and do the exact same thing. A gap of two towards the other side, by the way. I'm sure you guys knew that already. All right, do the exact same thing. And then you just want to leave a gap of four here. And then do the exact same thing again. All right, and then a gap of two. And there you go. So there's uh, there's uh, there's those uh, 
that's like that's like the base of like the cash registers all right so now what you're going to want to do here is you want to extend the bookshelves up by one row that's the first thing you want to do next um you want to do i think what is it like three black carpets here yeah three black carpets here were like the uh these three like you can you can pretty much see where i'm placing them so yeah this is the three black carpets all right and then here you want to put daylight sensors these are just scanners all right and then um beside that you just want to oh wait hold on i think i'm doing something wrong here uh no no i'm not wait wait what hold on Oh, wait, okay, never mind. I think we made, okay, we put too much carpet. That's what it was. Okay, so you actually want to put two carpet instead of three. All right, yeah, so you want to put the daylight sensor in the spot where I told you to put it. That's that's right still, okay. All right, and then just beside that, you want to just put, um, what is it, like two, yeah, two end rods going up. All right, so two end rods going up, and then, um, oh my gosh, we're already, this tutorial is going to be super, super long. I apologize, y'all. All right, and then uh, you just want to, oh my gosh, I can't do this right. There we go, and then you want to put those up like that, and then, okay, this part's going to be really tricky, so you just want to put warped signs all around the beacons, uh, like this, uh, and if you want, you can even put a number in it, um, but yeah, so just do that, and then, um, I'm going to do that off recording, that's going to take forever, and then, yeah, you would put the warped pressure plate on top somehow, alright, but once you've taken care of that, you can grab your stairs, um, put your um, white shulker box, go ahead and grab that as well. At the ends here, these are plastic bags. Um, oops. And then just be between the sensor and the, and the carpet, you want to put the cash register or the stairs. Uh, and, then in, and then behind it here, um, you just want to do um, these a birch sign, just like this, all right? And then, uh, yeah, so then, then again, just put the warp signs all around the beacons. Uh, and then the uh, warped pressure plate on top. Okay, y'all, so once you've uh, completed um, that daunting task, um, that's the all the cash registers done. So again, we're making really, really good progress with this Walmart, you guys can already see. So what you're gonna need now is orange concrete, light blue concrete, chest, quartz slab, quartz block, item frame, and bookshelf. Uh, with your orange concrete, you're going to come to either entrance, doesn't matter. We're going to start with this one, though. You see where we have, like, where the concrete starts right by the entrance? We have the concretes here. You're going to line them up with the... We're actually going to leave a gap of one from this concrete, right? And uh, you're going to start digging off... The, or digging off? Really? What was that? Digging out this entire road. Make it all... go, Dig it all the way to the end here and then fill it up with orange concrete. And then here at the back, you just want to um, dig... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, there we go. All right. Don't try not to dig out the outside wall, but yeah, and then just fill that up there. And then for this, you want to just, um, uh, basically I would come to where the first orange concrete is, line it up with, um, uh, where, you know, with this wall, extend up, put a block there to mark it, and then just extend it all the way to the end. And yeah, that basically just gives it a nice, uh, night, not only color, but also some decor. Um, and you want to do the same exact thing on the other side. I didn't actually have it on the other side in the original, but I, th I think it'll look a lot better on the other side as well. Uh, and then, yeah, so literally again, leave a gap of one from this end here. All right. Uh, so yeah, leave a gap of, t yeah, leave a gap of uh, one from the end of the entrance here. And then, um, at the very, very top, you want to dig out a row of orange. And then, again, dig it all the way at the other side. Yeah, so really, this is, um, yeah, just adding detail to the walls. Um, yeah, and then you just want to extend this all the way to the end here, or all the way to the back. All right, and then just mark it, and then dig it all the way to the end. And there you go. So there you go. So there's, like, orange on that side and that side. You can definitely see how that looks a lot better, um, I think. All right, and now for the light blue, uh, we're going to come to the clothing section. Uh, you're going to come to where, like, each end of the clothing section is. So, and you're just going to come to the very top. And the same with what we did with the orange a little bit. Um, we're going to kind of make it the exact width of the clothing section. So, from the first uh, jungle wood to the last jungle wood. And then you're going to make this two rows big. So, this is basically, you can even write clothes here if you want to. Just so people can see, like, where the clothing section is. But... Um, you know, or to just add detail, but yeah, that's really what you want to have. It just adds detail. It adds color to the place. So definitely do that. Once you've done that, uh, we can get started on making all the shelves. So you can see there's a bunch of miscellaneous shelves everywhere. So, uh, we'll go ahead 
and do those. All right, so right next to this cash register here, you can see we're on the left, technically, yeah, the right side of the store. All right, you're gonna leave a gap of uh, three going towards the other, going towards that way. All right, and you're just gonna put two bookshelves. So you're, you would want, you'd wanna start from where the actual bookshelf is. Leave a gap three and then put two more bookshelf. All right, and then you would just put smooth quartz block at the two, no, I think it's three. Yeah, three smooth quartz block at the end. Um, and then uh, you would do like the bottom half of the bottom um, or top half of the bottom blocks here. You would put three slab towards the front of the store and then three smooth quartz block like that and then two bookshelves at the end. Uh, and then at the top here you would just put slab uh, in here and then you would just put some chests in here. Um, uh, yeah, I would actually go ahead and grab trapped chest as well. Once we figure out where that is, there it is. Just so they're uh, they're all separate, um, so it doesn't look all weird. Just so it, it's like not uneven, basically. I would recommend you do that. And then just above them on the slab, you would put um, item frames. This is what you can mark with like items that would be that you could buy in the chest. So, and there you go. That's how you make one shelf. All right, and then you would leave a gap of three, and then do the exact same thing here. So. Again, two bookshelves, uh, smooth quartz block, or three smooth quartz block, and then bottom half, or top half of the bottom two blocks here, you would do uh, three slab, and then three block, and then two shelf, two bookshelf, that is. All right, and then slab at the top. All right, um, trapped chest in the middle with regular chests on the sides. And then uh, item frames on the slab just above the chests. And that's literally how you make one shelf. That's, that's how you make them, so there you go. All right, and then from this shelf right here, you're gonna leave a gap of two going towards the back of the store and literally just make the shelf again. I'm not even gonna repeat the instructions. It should be pretty self-explanatory, except for this shelf, it actually wants to be two slabs here instead of three. So some shelves are gonna be bigger and smaller than others, so. Obviously, you know, we want to be able to walk through here, so that's why um, this is smaller. Um, and then, yeah, but everything else is pretty self-explanatory. So the sizes may be different, but that's pretty much the only thing uh, that you really have to kind of note. But but I will clarify the sizes and stuff. So, But yeah, so there you go. There's three shelves already made. Um, there you go. Okay, let's do the other side. So, okay, so from this bookshelf here, you want to come up and then go left by three, all right, um, leaving a gap by the way, of course, and then uh, two bookshelves on top, all right, and then literally just make the uh, the shelf, all right, and then, yeah, th with three, or sorry, two slab, this will be two slab, all right, and then, again, the quartz block, and then the bookshelf, and then, of course, the slab up top, so, yeah, so these are, again, just the these, like, smaller shelves, you know, sometimes we have a few of these around the store, um, yeah, and there's, there's, yeah, there's different kinds of shelves, and then you would leave a gap of two going towards this side uh, and make the exact same shelf. So, yeah, um, yeah, so these shelves are really easy to make. They're, uh, they're repeatable, so, which is always nice. And you can actually put stuff in them, so it's functional. So, like, you can actually, it's like you can actually buy stuff here. It's pretty cool. So, that's what I really like. And also, of course, these were an idea from TSMC. Um, these are, you know, inspir inspiration from TSMC. So, yeah. Uh, anyways. Uh, once you've gotten those two shelves in, uh, you want to come to the wall here, leaving a gap of one from the clothing section. You want to put three quartz block going up like that, okay? And then you want to put, uh, going towards the other side, you want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine slab with a quartz block, and then extend that quartz block up by two, and then a quartz slab at the top of those, and then just put a bunch of chests in here, of course. All right, and then um, and then item frames above that. So, yeah, pretty uh, pretty simple. That's just another um, weird looking shelf. Uh, one of those like shelves that just rests like on a wall. That's what that is. All right, and once you've done that, uh, you want to come to this right wall here. You want to leave a gap of three from that wall, and again, you just want to make that. Sh you want to make these shelves. So, two bookshelf, of course, and then three quartz blocks, and then. You want to, with your slab, you want to do one, two, three, four, five, six. So, and then uh, three block. And yeah, you guys pretty much know everything else. I don't have to repeat it. So, 
yeah, these shelves, again, really easy, come in different sizes, so, because obviously a lot of shelves are, in real life, are different sizes, so. And then, of course, you would just put your sh your chests in here, so. Yeah, really easy. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, really, really, really nice. All right, and then you would leave a gap of two, and this one is actually going to be three blocks wide, just so it's even. So, three blocks wide instead of two. So, you would do... Yeah, so you'd leave a gap of two and you would put three bookshelf, two rows of three bookshelf instead of two rows of two bookshelves, <laughs> if that makes sense. And then, yeah, so all these, these three, these these next three shelves are all the same length, so, so literally just uh, make it as long as the others. Um, so technically, you would just copy what you have um, on the other side, basically. That's pretty much what you all you gotta do. And with this shelf, since it's wider, you actually want to put a... Um, kind of like a wall in the middle, uh, if that makes any sense. So then, you know, you don't, it just, it looks better like this. Um, so, oops, that's not what I want to do. There we go. And then again, three bookshelves on the ends. And then of course you would just put your chests like normal. So these shelves are wider, um, just, or yeah, wider. So, but that is still good because it's, uh, otherwise it's uneven if it's not wide. So, all right. And then a uh, gap of two, and then you would just make a normal shelf again. So. And I think this is the last shelf that we have to place. So once you've done this, uh, well, not the last, not the very like last shelf. There's still um, some other stuff we have to place, obviously. But you know, this is the last like these kind of shelves that we have to place. So we're gonna make some easier shelves. So that's pretty uh, pretty good, I'd say. So yeah, once you've made this last shelf, that'll be uh, that'll be that part done. So very very good. Um, oops. Yeah, so we're making a ton of progress with this Walmart, um, as I've already said, but seriously, we are getting really, really close to the end. Guys, I can feel it. I mean, you guys can already see we got a lot done, so. Hang on, I need to adjust because my back is killing me. Okay, sorry guys, I don't know why. Ugh, gosh, can't wait for this tutorial to end. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now uh, we're going to go ahead and put these materials away, except for the quartz slab and block. Oh my gosh, I can never get out of here. It sucks. Okay. Yeah, so I would put everything away except for the quartz materials. Okay. Um, oh, and of course, right as I say that, I put away the quartz block. Okay. Grab your light blue stained glass, your um, your sea lanterns, and uh, also your trip wire hook, wherever that's at. All right, there we go. We'll just go ahead and stick with these. We'll grab more materials later. So, all right, so now we're going to make freezers, obviously. So, uh, so we come to this very shelf right here. You're gonna leave a gap of two. Actually, yeah, you're basically just gonna right where the shelf is. You're gonna line it up with the wall, and then you're just gonna put quartz block. Um, dig out two and put sea lantern. Um, a quartz block. Dig out two sea lantern. Block. Dig out two sea lantern. Block. Dig out two sea lantern, and then block. So, yeah. So you make sure you have the sea lantern dug out here, and then of course um, light blue stained glass there, and then you just want to extend up by two, basically. Um, once you've done those things, not only with the glass, but of course with the <coughs> excuse me, with the uh, quartz, and then just quartz slab up top like so. And then, of course, you just want to put trap wire hooks uh, right here. All right, so, and there you go. There's the uh, the freezers, so really, really uh, uh, simple there. All right, so now um, we are going to put these materials away. Now we're going to make the produce section, which is a little weird um, for some reason, basically. Okay, so basically, I'll explain it. So grab spruce wood stairs, spruce wood block, um, uh, go ahead and grab grindstone, go ahead and grab uh, dirt, uh, beetroot seeds, really just grab any kind of seed you want. Grab a, uh, <clears throat> a hoe, uh, brown carpet, and then bone meal. And uh, I think that's about it, so. Oh no, there's still more stuff we need. Of course there is, why wouldn't there be? Uh, we're also going to need the sea lantern. Um, and you know what? We'll go ahead and grab the uh, spruce trapdoor, the melon, and the pumpkin just to get... Oh, and then we'll grab uh, scaffolding, wherever that's at. And grab scaffolding. Yeah, there it is. All right, and then we'll also go ahead and grab the wither skeleton, all the skulls, basically. Any any heads and skulls, go ahead and grab them. All right. So now once you've done that, you want to come to this side here. All right, you just want to put... Um, Let's see, I actually kind of forgot how to make this. <laughs> okay, so you actually, so at the, okay, so like lined up with the uh, this shelf right here, you want to come to the 
uh, to the wall here and just make a row. So same with what we did with the freezers, um, uh, kind of, like, except it's not going to be all the way to the wall like this. It's going to be just right here. So just as long as this shelf right here, from bookshelf to bookshelf, you want to make a row of spruce. And then extend out by one on the sides, and then a spruce, no. No, and then you just want to put uh, spruce wood planks there as well. So, all right, and then you want to put dirt right here, right in the middle. All right, um, go ahead and uh, with your hoe, you want to do that. And then two carrots, two beetroot seeds, potato, and then more carrots. And, oh, actually, we'll put a carrot there, and then we'll put the, uh, um, oh, yeah, and then we'll probably put, uh, you know what, I don't think it matters. All right, there we go. Um... Or actually, you know what, we'll do, uh... oh gosh, this sucks, guys, I don't know why. Okay, there we go. And then, of course, with your bone meal, if you haven't already grabbed it, you should have already grabbed it. Uh, go ahead and grow that. You know, just, and you can really, again, just put whatever kind of plants you want in there. Uh, spruce wood stairs in between, like so, and then, um, at least I think, and then spruce wood stairs behind that. No, no, that's not what you want to have. Okay, you actually want spruce stairs, or spruce blocks just behind that, I think. And then, uh, okay, I legit have no idea how to make this. Okay, this sucks. <laughs> okay, no, you want spruce stairs up top like this, and then, and then I believe you get rid of your bone meal and grab um, sea lantern. Put that up top, and then uh, maybe just put the yeah, put, like put the spruce stairs up front like this, um, and then with the spruce wood planks, you want to do that. You know what? We'll just do it like this. It's probably not 100% correct, but it honestly looks good still. So I just do that, and then you of course want to put brown carpet up top of everything like so to hide the lights. And there you go. So there's your produce section. Not 100% accurate, but I think it looks good. And then. Uh, and then, yeah, you just want to put the uh, grindstone there for the bags, and there you go. There's your produce section. Again, not 100% accurate. It wasn't supposed to look like that, really, but I think it honestly looks fine. Um, and, yeah, there you go. Um, oh, actually, wait. I think I actually figured it out. Okay. I mean, I guess we could just stick with this, um, but I think we should honestly do it the right way. Okay. So, all right. So get rid of all these... Uh, um, yeah, so get rid of all the wood back here, all right? Put the dirt back here, and of course we're gonna need the tool again, um, which we grab, get rid of grindstone, grab your tool here, grab that, put all that there, and then of course put your carrots, put your beetroot, and put your potatoes, and then, ah, uh, God, my back hurts so bad, guys, I swear. All right, grab your bone meal. I know I sound so dumb, but whatever. Okay, and then we actually wanna put the sea lantern above back here, Get rid of the sea lantern here, and then, okay, and then the stairs go front here. Okay, and then we can get rid of the stairs in front of here. Oh, of course I did that. Okay, that's nice. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that looks right. And then, all right, and then we just put the carpet up top. Okay, yeah, sorry about that, guys. That was ridiculous, but I got it figured out. I think that definitely looks a lot better. All right. So there you go. There's your, that's, that's that entire, well, actually, there's still something else we need to do, and we'll go ahead and take care of that right uh, actually, here, we'll put these, hang on, we're, we're gonna go ahead and put, uh, all these materials away here, except for, uh, the, uh, these materials right here, basically, anything that, everything you can see in my inventory, don't get, don't put those away just yet, but now, we're gonna grab the blue concrete and the, um, and the birch sign, all right, so now, if we come over to this side, all right, we're gonna make these like signs. So it's kind of weird. Uh, you wanna start from this stair right here. You wanna kind of go up to the ceiling and um, just put three blocks after that and delete that original block. And then you wanna put birch sign in front like this. And those are these are signs, again, to let you know what's in the aisles. Those would say like produce and whatever. And then you wanna do the same thing, line it up with these signs here and just make sure they're lined up like with the middle of the aisle here so you can see these two blocks line up in the middle of the aisle. And yeah, you just want to keep making these all through here. Oops, of course I'm getting stuck on stuff. Um, there we go. Yeah, make sure everything's aligned. And then you put your signs. And you can actually write in these signs if you want. Um, if you're making like a city, you can write these. Or if you're doing like role play or whatever, you can write those if you want to make it more detailed. But there you go. So that's how you make those. All right. And now uh, let's go ahead and grab the uh, the melon, pumpkin, spruce trapdoor, and scaffolding. All right. 
So this uh, entrance right here, um, all right, you want to leave. So from the pressure plates, you want to leave a gap of three. And then you just want to put uh, four pumpkins like this. And then you can just stack them on top like that. And then just put spruce trapdoor around them. This, these are like these big boxes. I don't know if you've uh, if you've walked into Walmart, you'll see like as soon as you walk in, like it's usually like if it's obviously if it's on the market side, um, it'll be like in the produce section. So it's like um, big buckets of like melons and stuff. So and pumpkins and whatever, especially if it's like Halloween. So this, that's what these are meant to be. And then leave a gap of two from that and put melons. Alrighty, and then you would just put the spruce trapdoor around these as well, and then, uh, yeah, so once you've done that, that's pretty good. And then with your scaffolding, leave a gap of two going back, and then just put two rows of scaffolding just like that. Alrighty, and then, uh, yeah, so as you can see, that's pretty much this entire half of the store completed. That's the entire market side completed, as well as the entire middle of the store, except for, of course, if we put everything here away, we are gonna need all the heads um, here. If you come to this shelf and this shelf, these last two shelves, you're just gonna put some skulls and heads on the ends of them. These are meant to be like the toy section shelves, so that's why you wanna do this. These are the heads that kind of marks like that these are like toys. So that's kind of what these are, that's what that's supposed to be. So these are toy shelves, so just go ahead and put the heads there. And yeah, like I said, we are, I mean, you guys can see we've gotten done with all this side of the store we just need to do the electronic side and then we're completely done with walmart guys this is absolutely insane we are reaching the end i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of all of this stuff here except for actually the brown or blue, blue concrete apparently i'm colorblind all right so grab your blue concrete uh, also grab your uh lime concrete your red concrete and your white concrete i probably don't have it never mind i do and then also grab your uh, colored carpet as well. Of course, I don't have any of that, except for the blue carpet, I do have that. And the, I don't have white carpet, of course, okay. So grab blue carpet, um, grab lime carpet, grab red carpet, and also grab uh, white carpet. And then also, and then grab your jukebox, note block. Um, um, let's see, oh, we actually might need to, just try to, I'm just like moving all this over, just make things easier. All right, and then um, you're also gonna need your white stained glass, your tripwire hook. Of course, I don't have that right there. Um, tripwire hook, there it is. And then, oh gosh, what do we need, guys? What do we need, what do we need, what do we need? Um, whew. Oh yeah, black concrete, of course, I forgot that, okay. And um, I think that's it, so yeah, there you guys go. Alrighty, so. Once you've done that, we can get started with the electronics. So come back here. Um, so from, we're just gonna start with the clothing section. It'll make things easier. You're gonna leave a gap, or actually no, that won't make things easier. Come to this very back wall here. You're just gonna leave a gap of two, and then uh, you can do four lime concrete. Uh, oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. Don't do that, don't do that. Hold on, you actually want your, we'll get rid of the note block for a minute and grab white stained glass. You actually wanna put white stained glass. So again, two blocks away from this wall, White stained glass, you actually wanna do four white stained glass and stack two on top. And then you wanna do four lime and then four blue. That's of course Xbox, PlayStation. And you wanna do the same thing on the other side. So a gap of two um, and then again, not concrete, but four or sorry, eight white stained glass, put two more on or put another row on top and then four red, four white, that's Nintendo Switch and Wii. All right, and then you can go ahead and grab, get rid of your white stained glass, get trip wire hook and then just on the fourth block, like on, under the last concrete of each here, like you can kind of see where I'm placing them. So like on the fourth concrete of each section here, you just want to put trip wire hook. All right, and then um, and then lastly, what you want to do, well not lastly, you want to go ahead and grab black concrete. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and make the TVs. So I think the TVs are a gap of two and then four, right? Yeah, so I think it's two rows of four, a gap of two from each side here. And then a gap of two, three, oh no, one, two, three. Okay, so that one's three blocks instead of four. All right, so those are the TVs. Um, and then, okay, so now with your, actually, oh yeah, we need bookshelf, uh, which I can just go ahead and pick block that. But before we actually, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, yeah, bookshelf. Okay, we need bookshelf. Okay. So from each side here, um, so from the glass, you want to leave a gap of two and put uh, three red and or two rows of three red. All right, and then or whoops, that's the wrong side, of course. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, you want two. All right. So basically, whichever color is here, a uh, gap of two, 
Um, here you want to do uh, two rows of three of black color, if you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right. Uh, oh, and of course I keep, ugh, why do I keep doing the wrong color? I don't know why I keep doing that. There we go. Okay, and then of course we need two bookshelves and then, so for the carpet, you wanna put carpet on top of the red and then do one, two, three in the middle and then and then with the other color, you wanna do the same thing. And then you just wanna do the exact same thing that you, as you did with the with this side. So two blocks and then whatever color is here and then uh, you wanna do the same thing on the other side, gap a two and then do that. And then of course bookshelves in the middle. Oh boy, and then the carpet, so three carpet there and then three carpet here and boom all right and now the very last things that we have to do we can just throw everything away um, is note block jukebox and black cart uh, black concrete leave a gap of two from either shelf here and then just put three black concretes and do the same thing with this other side make them as long as the shelves here basically and then just put three black concretes like this and then just stack a bunch of note blocks and uh, jukebox on top of here these are just meant to be like random electronics and whatever so um, just in case you guys didn't get it, but yeah, so literally just stack a bunch of jukeboxes and stuff like that as well, so. And yeah, guys, once we've done this, let me just finish up here, I think that's good. Yeah, once we've done this, that's, yeah, that's, um, yeah, that's the entire inside of Walmart. Let me just, let me just make sure I haven't actually missed anything, but I, but no, I think we're, yeah, I think we're good, guys. Oh my gosh. Right, I know, that was a really long tutorial. <coughs> <clears throat> sorry yeah that's a sign that I've been talking for way too long but yeah I know that was a long tutorial but guys it is finally done guys I cannot believe it so yeah um, once you've done that y'all that is the entire wall that is your entire Walmart 100% fully completed congratulations for making it this far this was a really big build so um, um, you know so I'm I, you know I'm really proud of you guys for making it this far Hope you guys did end up enjoying this tutorial. If you did, smash a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, uh, or if you're new, uh, and also turn on post notifications uh, if you haven't, uh, or if you, turn on post notifications so you don't miss when an awesome tutorial like this one uh, comes out. And I will see you guys in the next video.